Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we've got some more Carthage Total War for you. So I'm gonna fucking call it. Anyway, um, I believe, if I remember it, we can just quit the turn right here and call it good. Um, well, not quit the turn, but end the turn and all that good shit. You know what I'm fucking saying. Anyway, I think that's what we'll do here in, in a second or so. You still got Kartuba, you're still here, hanging out, having fun, playing games. Why in the fuck do I have you over here doing nothing? Hmm? Emera, that's the Lusitani. You are the Celtiberian Confederation. Um, Alright, so, um... You know what we might do? Here, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna try this real quick because I know, I know for a fact that you can. Um. You have my attention. Now, do now, not I'll make client state. Alright. See, okay, there's one thing that I've noticed like, you guys stand a much better chance of turning um, cultures into client states by um, being at war with them for quite some time. And then basically just, you know, once they're like at the end of their rope and they keep asking for peace, um, suggest that they become a um, a client state and they'll pretty much just say, you're all I guess so. So, um, yeah, that that's the way. It doesn't really work when you are, um, when you have, uh, what do you want to call it? Um, when you're like friends with them. It's fucking weird. Like the... Um, the, the balance of power can be so totally in your favor, and yet they'll just be like, nope, mm -mm, not going to do it. Not going to do it. Oh, boy, that's making things interesting. That's making things very interesting, Garama. Let's see, holy shit. He must have got your ass kicked over there. They, they look a little worse for wear. But he, oh, they did take Kaidamas, though. That's right. And Garama looks like they're going to take Lepsis from him here in a second. Um... Still fucking don't like them. That's what I don't like. Just fucking Syracuse army just sitting there in the fucking water. I don't. I don't like that at all. Anyway, all right, we're gonna end this turn. Yeah, I think that's all we can do here. I was just check, taking a look, just kind of checking everything out. Um, and that's pretty much it. Kartuba, Kartuba. Um. Oh shit! Did you see them fucking Romans moving over there? I'm not liking where that's going. See, I just don't fucking like how they're just hanging out over there. That irritates the hell out of me. It really does. My lord offers you peace. Tomorrow, his preoccupation with this war. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My lord wishes to bestow coin on your people. Accept it. Let's try again. All right, fuck you then. So basically, in other words, what you want to do is you want to be at war with someone for quite some time. Hmm. Let's fall back. Let's see. I'm going to try. Um, wait, we don't have any now. Ah, damn. See, what I was hoping to do there is I was hoping to draw them back out this way. Or towards Iol and, and see if we can get the... um the um whatever you want to call it see if we can get some help from our from our little buddies over there but what we're gonna do um because i am afraid now see that little situation right there worked out pretty well because we were able to just backtrack and just say oh, oh we'll fall back you know and they didn't want to pursue us too much but what we really want and i really should have moved this fucker last turn because he'd be all the way up here by now almost but anyway um what I really, really liked about that is, but now they did move, did see some movement over here. You know what, can we, can we make, I don't think we can, but let's just see if we've got any, um, ah, all right. All right, 
basically what I use dignitaries for, I don't really know what they're for in this game, quite honestly. Like, I I should rephrase that. I do know what they're for, but I I don't like um I, I just don't use them very often. I just don't utilize them. So ooh somebody got their ass kicked. The dread nomads got their ass kicked. That makes things interesting. Alright, so what we are gonna do here is see if what what levies can we get out of you guys. Libyan javelin men. Um we can only recruit one of you, so let's go ahead and do that. Because I want some ranged. Ranged is actually very useful in this game. I kind of like ranged a lot. They go a long way towards uh, helping you um, uh, you know, route enemies, basically. They, they do a lot to reduce the morale of, uh, of your opponent's troops. So that's really what we're going to do here is we're going to recruit a few of those just to help with that they do a decent amount of damage quite honestly especially in mass like you get a good chunk of archers or something like that which i prefer archers over javelin men um big time like a lot like a lot a lot a lot so we are currently at war with no one over here um I'm just waiting for these guys, the, the Celtiberian Confederation, to get pissy with us and, and try and try and go after us here. But it hasn't happened as of yet, so I think we're just going to go ahead and end this turn again and call it good. Um, oh, fuck you. I knew they were going to fucking do shit like that. God fucking damn it. Okay, so as you can see, Rome... Is gonna move against us here. I uh, see. I fucking. Uh, I hate that shit. I hate that shit so much. My lord wishes to bestow coin on your people. Accept it as a token of friendship. Oops. Nope. Don't want that. Don't want that. That's fine. That's fine. We're okay with that. Okay, so. Uh, yes, come out here. I want them to come out there and, and attack us with the garrison that's in Iol. That's what I want. That's what I really fucking want. Edict canceled. Yep, that's because these motherfuckers. Plague. Really? Really? Really, you motherfuckers? All right, so basically, the walls are fucking coming down here now. Um, I think Carlos will be okay, though. Uh, I don't think we're going to need to make a... A garrison or anything like that, or raise troops or anything, because I think, I think these guys will be... I think these guys, oh shit, they're actually pretty decent. Goddamn, the Hastati. Well, yeah, they are Hastati. I shouldn't be surprised by that. But here's what's going to happen. All right, now we're going to start moving these guys so we can start seeing some shit, seeing what's going on around us and all that good shit. Because we need to know. Intelligence is smart. Uh, yeah, see what I did there? So, um, yeah, because we really want to take the MIDI. And that's something, too, like I've, I've used uh, Client Kingdoms, actually. I, I played a couple. I've been playing um, a Sparta campaign that I was playing and a Celebi campaign that I was playing. And, um, it was a lot of fun, um, in truth. Uh, I was having, I was having quite a bit of fun with both of those. Um, the Suebi campaign a little bit, was a little bit better. I, I had more, um, more success with that. I mean, it was more fun, honestly. It just, it just really was. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, uh, mostly because we could form a German confederation, which I really like a lot. Ooh, we can still raise an army over here. Alright, so we are Barkid, Maganid, other dynasties. Well, fuck. Um, 
All right, how how are we looking here? We have Bardia, Himmelgar, Statesman. Can't adopt you, so or you. I love how you can assassinate your own guys. I think that's fucking funny. All right, so what we're gonna do here? All right, we are gonna raise another. Barsid, should we go Barsid or let's go, let's go with this guy. Oh fucking elephants. Fist of Hemelkar. Nice. That's cute. They have some really cool names. Names names for their for their armies. I, I kinda like them a lot. I really do actually. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. If I if I do say so. Which I of course do. All right, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and, and roll with right there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna create another army there, and we're gonna need another one down here. We're gonna start raising an army down here again, because of the Syracusan army that's right down here in Thapsus. In Thapsus. See, here's what pisses me off. Like these guys, the garrison that they have here, is like they always find a way to, like, increase those fuckers super fucking quick and I mean super fucking quick it's ridiculous how fast they're able to raise an army or ra raise the garrison there yeah we're just gonna fall back and hope we can sucker them into doing that in hope in hope ah, see I really want to go after I really want to go after the um I really want to go after this settlement Thapsus as soon as possible. But they've just got too much, I mean, too much of an army right now. Just far too much. And they got too many troops there. And like I said, once they start getting that, the, the local garrison built up, which takes them no fucking turns at all, honestly. Jesus, it's stupid how fast they get that shit built up. Um. But anyway, they, they, they've got that going on for them, so. Yeah, ooh, wait a minute. Did you guys seriously? Olivia took Garama, nice. Nice. So really what's going on right now is Olivia, oh, they might lose that settlement actually. Olivia is taking some more, some more of these smaller, well, not smaller, but these back these back few uh, settlements, which is really overextending them right now, which means Syracuse is likely to try and take Lepsis soon. Um. So yeah, there's that. That's pretty much what's about to happen. All right, we're gonna end turn here. Um, finances are getting kind of low there. Oh boy. All right, so I don't think they besieged us quite yet, which is good. That means it gave us a turn to to raise some troops there. Yeah, or it's gonna give us a turn to raise some troops there at Carlos, which is gonna make it even more more difficult for them to. Yeah, oh, yeah. Look at you go, fuck. The, the midi don't want to fucking deal with us apparently. All right, so um, what we're doing right now um, is we're kind of refocusing our attentions to. Um... Oh, really? Assassination. Oh, I hate. <sighs> Fuck. God damn it. Who is this? This is. Oh, God damn it. Ah. <sighs> ah, Hannibal Barca. Nice. Hamilcar Barca. Go with you. Yeah, I, I, I know they had disease and shit over there. All right. See, that's something too that they really hit you with sometimes. I'm gonna adopt his ass. And. Can we adopt you? Yes, we will adopt you. 
All right, so now what I'm really doing is just trying to consolidate the fucking balance of power, if you will, and within our own um, faction. There you go. Those are the words I'm looking for. So you are... Are you seriously raising troops? Goddamn. How are you able to fucking recruit already? Fuck me in the ass. Mm, all right, fine. Fuck it. This is what's going to happen. This is what's going to happen. I don't... Ah, uh, fuck. Ah, uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. We'll call. Oh, you're our, uh, you're our dude. All right. You're our, uh, whatever you're, you're supposed to be fucking called. All right, so what we're going to do is this. I don't want to do this, but we're going to have to. You have to relocate. Reason being is because money is going down. Well, actually, it is winter, so our, our income is going to be uh, a little lower than it should by default. Um, but since we're being attacked in a bunch of different areas right now, and we really don't need to go after Dimini, um, that's kind of just a uh, really just kind of like a guilty pleasure or something like that, really. I mean, that's really what it is. It's just if we really want to and we're getting greedy, um, we can go after that shit. I am going to bring you back. Yeah, bring you back this way. And not that we really need to, but all right. So that's the idea. That's what we got going. And we've got you coming this way. Oh, Jesus. We've got two of these fuckers over here. But that's okay, that's okay. We can send one. Oh, there's, another, there's another settlement somewhere around here, isn't there? Or some such? I don't fucking know. Anyway. Alright, so we're going to bring him... Bring the walls of Bursa back towards Carthage. Um, I don't think they can take Carthage. I would like that. Preferably, I would like them... To try. Oh, and Alepsis is very well fortified. That's gonna take. That's gonna take a lot out of them when they attack it. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's real good. Actually, please do. Please go after fucking Lepsis. That'd be great. That would be awesome. That would help us out a lot. Or Carthage. I mean, we had a pretty big garrison here, and the troops that are already stationed here are gonna give them a nice, nice, tough go of it. So, um, well, in turn. Um, like I said, our cash reserves are going down because we're recruiting all these troops. And now Rome is just going to sit in our fucking territory. Is that what they're going to do? They're not even going to attack Carlos. They're just going to sit in there and just hang the fuck out. Yeah. Well, what the fuck? You bastards. You bastards. Yeah, they're just going to fucking sit there. Although I think they're... I think someone poisoned their provisions. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, now of course they move. Where in the fuck are you going? Where is he going? There's no stand Gartuba. In case someone tries to sneak that shit from you. Alright, so... Hmm. Mm -hmm. So as you can see... Um... Oh my god. We could have fucking taken them. We could have fucking taken them. God damn. They've got not very good spearmen. Good defense on these guys though. Jesus. Alright. You. Alright, I want you to go here. And I'm gonna bring the spy all the way across. That's what we're going to do, because I want to know, I want to know where that army is. Um, where that Syracuse army is. That's what I want to know. That's what I'm interested in, because what I want to do is I want to take Thapsus from them. For sure, I mean, that's, that's, honestly, you get a lot more, in my truthful opinion, um, you get a lot more, um... Oh, Cyrenaic has been destroyed. Oh, what is this? Is this Egypt? Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, Egypt's expanding westward. I was actually gonna say, uh... 
in this episode, I don't think we're going to have to deal with them much because I've never seen them really move west. So, um, maybe we will. Holy shit. Maybe we'll have to go to war with Egypt, too. Jesus. Got everyone pissed at us. Jesus. All right, well. The heirs to Phoenicia. Oh, that's cute. Very, very cute. And the beasts of burden. And milk hearts justice. That's cute, too. All right. Pisanias, so yeah. What's the okay? Ooh, I actually got the shit turned around over there. Hmm. See, I don't think they're coming towards us. Syracuse, that is. But I don't want to make a move on them unless we can hold that settlement for sure. So, yeah, there's that. All right. We're gonna start start building some more some more monetary shit here, cause we need we need some monies and stuff, and we need to start doing some of this tax labor shit and stuff. Get working on some of that. All right. Anyway, all right. I think we. Ooh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Walls of Bursa. You can. Ooh, yeah. You can still move this turn. Ha 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 ha. All right. So what's gonna happen, all right, next turn. Fuck, you guys seriously can't move? Well, that's good to know, they're not over here. We can see all this shit, and there's no there's no Syracuse army up there, so. Although it's hard to believe that they couldn't make it away all around that in one turn. I wonder where the fuck they're going. I wonder if they're going towards the interior of North Africa here, which would be strange if that is indeed what they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys. Yeah, you guys are all right now. All right, you can move back over here. I don't know why we had so much shit over there, but apparently Nova Cathargo, see, Nova Cathargo seems to think that they should be up in our shit too. So, oh yeah, we're only gonna make like 83 fucking gold next turn. Or Denari, I think is what it, what it's actually called, if I remember right. Something like that. I think. Actually, you know, I don't know what they call it in this game. In Rome 2, or in Rome, the first one, it was Denari. And then, um, Florines was... Let's see, there they are. There they are. Now that I can see them. Ah, oh, fuck you. Oh, we just lost Iole over there. All right, then. Peace negotiated. Fuck, you're not supposed to be friends with that fucking thing. You're not supposed to be friends with them, damn it. No friends. No friends for you. Sons of Mahrim. All right. But now that we've got this guy out here, he can go kind of in between the two, which is good. Um, we are going to have him move over here just to spy on these guys a little bit. Oh, yeah, they took quite a bit here. Quite a bit of... Mm hmm. Hmm, 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 All right, all right, yeah, we're not able to see too much. Um, I want them... Okay, can they make it? Yeah, they can make it to Lepsis the next turn. Hmm. And you're not gonna make it. Mm. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. See, now, here, like I said, right, we got 10, 10 units out of 20 with that. Thapsis is about half strength already. No, no, farther than that. Full strength almost. Look at that. I mean, just good guy, like two turns. It takes us like seven turns to fucking work up a garrison. And they're just fucking done in like two. Stupid, ridiculous. But anyhow, they're going to go towards Lepsis. I want them to do that because Lepsis has a pretty big, um, a lot of optates, um, there that will give them a pretty good fight. 
Um, so therefore, so therefore, we're out. after that, while they do that, actually, is when we're gonna snake Thapsis from them, because we're sneaky, like that. So we are. So what we do. And yeah, I know. In all honesty, even if they do take Lepsis, which would be great, actually, it would be great if they took Lepsis. Um, because if they did, see, Rome is still not gonna attack us on Carlos. They're just going to sit there and I guess they're raiding or whatever, which does affect our income, but I really can't do anything about that right now. We kind of have to, yeah. Join war against, uh, you are who, the Veneti? All right, yeah, sure, I'll join war. We're never going to see them. Jesus Christ. Oh, wow, Dimitri's going, going nut, or Dimitri, the Mace, uh, Mace silly or whatever it is. Looks like Nova Cathargo is going to counter here soon. Looks like they're geared up to go down there and kick some ass, take some names. Oh, no. Fuck you. Fuck you, Libya. Fuck you. You evil bastards. You can still... Oh, I know why. They can't attack in um, forced march, and they were forced marching on Lepsis. Hmm. 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 Huh. And Thapsis will be a decent, decent. F oh, they've only a mob and slingers. Really, that's the bulk of their. And thorax alpates. And let's see what we are gonna do. You know, this is what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and attack this. We're gonna go ahead and attack this. Um. I am going to do most of these, or almost all of these, if I can, um, for ya. Um, reason being is it just makes the game more fun when you can actually fight these things. I mean, we, we can obviously auto-fight this thing and be done in, like, seconds, but fuck it. We're just going to go and fight it ourselves and just go, just go and do it. Um, like I said, it's more fun to, to see this sort of shit, and honestly, this is one of the things that... I enjoy a lot about the game. I enjoy the combat quite a bit. I don't always, um, I don't always fight these though, especially when like you have, you know, like a hundred percent chance to win pretty much. Um, reason being is just it, it depends on how frustrated I am. If I'm really frustrated at the game, then I'm just gonna like fuck it. Just give me the goddamn settlement. <laughs> That's just goddamn it. Fuck it. I just want the settlement. Just give me that. That's all I want. So um, yeah. There's there's that going on um however since i mean you know it's been pretty easy and the good thing is is um the mesa silly silly or, i think it's mesa masai silly or silly or something like that uh, fucking horse people the, yeah over there they they're they're expanding right now which is good which is good we kind of want them to because i personally think you get a little bit more out of having the settlements as opposed to your client kingdom having the settlements but that's just me. Um, since we don't have a giant army. Um, wow, there's only four elephants in there? Wow. Oh, I guess eight. There's two people on each one, I guess. All right. Are they ranged as well? Melee attack? No, I'll just... Melee attack. They have no defense, though. That kind of irritates me. Maybe we won't be doing those. Fuck it. Alright, anyway. um, Holy shit, we can put our fucking troops way the fuck up here. Then. Alright, all right. what's the quickest route? We're just going to go right here. Because that's what we do. Alright. Um, I don't have a big enough... Or the right troop combination to split. Usually I split towns up and or towns. I split my units and shit up. Um. With this shit, usually I just I just split them up. I, I usually do and come at them from a couple different angles. It helps to to reduce their morale and all that good shit. Um, this may end up being a little bit more of a costly battle than it should be. Um. Reason being is they have a decent amount of um. 
ranged troops, and I really don't have anything to take care of that. Um, hopefully we can just get through their melee troops fast enough and go from there. So, I mean, yeah, like, like I said, usually I'll like have some hoplites over here and then come in and attack these guys while I'm, you know, going after these dudes. And this is just a mob. I mean, really not, really not threatened by those at all. In fact, I don't think I've ever been beaten by, by mobs or anything of that nature. But yeah, we have these, yeah, it's the slingers and shit. But what I am going to do to counter that is use our ranged guys to attack them almost exclusively and let our let our melee handle them. Since we don't really have the best, actually we do have decent Hoplites. The Carthaginian Hoplites are okay. They're okay. And one thing I have noticed, um... Oh, those are our our javelin men. I thought I thought our oplates were were throwing javelins at them. I'm like, what the fuck? Um. Yeah, we're actually chewing through those pikemen at a decent rate. Yeah, and they're about to route. That's what we really want. We want them to get out of here, and then we'll reallocate our um our javelin men to probably. Do they have who? Oh my god, they got a gentleman all the way back there throwing shit at us. Good god. They mean business tonight. Shit. Alright, anyway. Well, we'll focus on this. Uh, can you actually hit them? Or. Yeah, I was having some weird. I think it was pathing errors. That, or not really pathing errors. This is. Had a couple fights where my javelin men wouldn't throw shit at them, and I think there's actually some stipulations as to, um, like their range and the type of weapons that they use. Meaning, um, since they are, you know, javelin men, they throw javelins, they have to be at a certain distance, and, um, certain units can't be a certain, well, not certain units, but units can't be a certain distance in relation to your, like, your melee infantry. Like, if you're engaged with melee infantry, you usually can't throw javelins at them because you can't get it up and over and not hit your own guys, I think. I think that's what was going on. Because I was defending a place on my German Confederation, well, now German Confederation, my Suebi campaign, and they they wouldn't fire. And I was like, what the fuck? Because I kind of needed them to. Because I didn't have, I mean, it was a pretty tough situation I was in, and I really needed them to throw javelins at people and shit, and they wouldn't. And then I had to re, and then I had to move them. I had to move them like off to the side. Now there were some trees in the way and shit, and I don't know if that had anything to do with it. But I had to move them kind of off to the side so that when we were fighting over here, they could throw javelins in this way. And then they actually started throwing, you know, I actually started hitting them and shit. So, like I said, I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. But, I mean, it is it is what it is. I am going to do this. I am going to move our elephants up here, though. And I did, and I did, uh, I have, I have had to change. I started restarting my Sparta campaign that I was thinking around with. And, um, I got several different campaigns on this game running at once. Um, I restarted it, and I was trying some different, some different, um, see, they do have ranged. They do have arrows or some shit. But I was trying just some different tactics with them, and it turns out just attacking and going all out with Hoplites is much, much better than actually trying to play defensive with them, which is kind of funny. I don't want you there, I want you there. Oh fuck, I did not move you guys at all, did I? Run, you little elephants, run, run. Run, you little fuckers. Elephants are so cool. Alright. And uh, and the reason why um, the Hoplites... And, and you're probably th sitting there thinking, like, what the fuck, that's stupid. You shouldn't fucking run with them. Well, no, that's, you're correct. You shouldn't really attack with them. They're more defensive units than anything. But in this game, you get such a debuff in your attack power that when you try to turtle with them, it doesn't really work out that well. Um, like I said, that's usually my tactic. I, mean, I, I, I like I like defending and shit like that. So that's kind of what I was doing. Wow, are they seriously just gonna fucking string us along here?
Hmm. Well, shit. Usually the one they're defending the, um... Usually when they're defending, like, the city center, city center or town center, whatever you want to call it, usually when they do that, they usually fight to the death and just hang out there and let you come at them, but not today, apparently. Oh, shit. We've got the, um, we've got the fleet garrison still to deal with. Oh, fucking slingers. See, this is one thing I don't like about the javelin. They're already out of ammo. I mean, they, they go through their javelins so fast. I mean, I, I, I get it. I'm okay with it. But that's why I like archers. They got more ammo and can be far, far, far more useful throughout the course of the game. But that's just my opinion. All right, let's go back over here. And I like these guys just fucking hanging out over here. Like, seriously? Just chilling. Just chilling. Hanging out. I do like how the architecture is different in the game, too. I, I think that's really cool. And one thing I did notice with the my Suebi campaign is, um, after, uh, like, once you, once you convert a settlement basically to your culture, not really to your culture, but once you convert it to, like, your town center, you start building like your your faction cultural buildings and shit like that. When you start doing that, it um I'm gonna see if these guys can actually take them. Um once you start doing that, like the actual architecture and the building, the actual sediment when you fight there changes to your culture. Which I think is really, really cool. It kinda it kinda diff like it kinda ruins the variability that you potentially have, you know, being like a German, you know, or a German culture or something like that and having to um you know like fight Rome and, and fight in their places and shit like that and like have their settlements you know, have like the conglomerate of German and with with um you know Roman culture or culture architecture and shit like that you kind of lose that but it's still pretty cool to the fact that hey you can go in there and you take the entire settlement and now it looks exactly like you know your your settlements way back in northern Germania and stuff like that I think that's cool that's just me, though. Oh, these guys aren't even fucking doing anything to them. Why don't you guys go after them, too? Go fight them, because javelin men are much, much better uh, in melee combat than, um, than, uh, whatever you want to call it. Archers. And those are, those are all slingers. Not quite archers, but slingers. They should be better than slingers in melee combat. There we go. Routed them. Ends battle. So now, um, so now, we should, now this will be interesting. Um, I wonder, I hope we don't have to convert too much, too much of the buildings, because that'll be bad, for obvious reasons. We don't have a whole lot of money right now, we're kind of stretched a little thin. But I really wish it was, it was over there to take that other place from the whatever they're called. But we have another settlement, at least to ourselves, which is good. Like I said, hopefully, hopefully the Syracuse army will go up there and end up having to deal with that shit and get their asses kicked by Lep in Lepsis, or at least worn out a little bit. Because it's okay if they take it, because then we can just come in on the back end and take it from them again, just like we just did. Um, but, like I said, it's... It's... Ah, ha, ha, fuck you. I do like this. This is fucking cool. Just them little, the little, just the little animations that they do when you fucking kick their ass. I like that shit. That shit makes me happy. Alright, damn. Damn, they happy here. Yeah, see, good. All right, see, like this is the only building that's not ours. That's not our cultural building, which I think we share the same village structure and shit as Rome. So that's probably why this is still the way it is. But still, that's that's good. That's good. That's what we want. That's what we need. 
I want to do this. I'm gonna use a fucking fishing port. <laughs> um, we can convert this to another of our one of our consecrated grounds, but we're not going to. Fuck! I probably shouldn't have fucking upgraded that. Oh, fuck. It saved our money, but oh well. But what we do have, um, we have a decent garrison there already. Um, shit. What should we do? You know what I think we're gonna do? I'm gonna turn it to a market settlement. Yeah. Stuff. All right. So you can come down here, and I think we want to be, what we're gonna want to do. It's gonna depend on what they do here in this next turn, because if they decide to go back and try and retake Thapsus, which is a possibility. Um. Uh, we could uh, we'll we'll hang out here and we'll have all of these units plus the garrison to fend them off. If not, then um. They're going to go ahead and attack Lepsis, and then we'll just go right after him and take it from him. Anyhow, um, that does it for this episode. That's our first taste of combat, too, by the way. Um, so, yeah, that does it for this episode. You made it this far on YouTube. You know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching, and bye.